Good morning, strong towers. And good morning, God. And God, we pray that you'd be with us this morning and that we'd learn lots about you and have lots of fun. Amen. Right, today we're going to start off by thinking about harvesting. Now, it was harvest a few weeks ago, but when we think about harvesting, we're thinking about gathering food or picking food, digging food up that's ready, that's been growing. Um, maybe some of you have grown some vegetables or some fruit in your garden and maybe you help to pick that. Or maybe you have some pretend food in your house that you could use. But what we're going to do is we're going to play a game about picking food. So I'm going to pretend that I'm going to be picking apples and digging up potatoes. So I'm going to pick my apples and put them into a bag. Let's see how many I can pick. One, two, oh, I think the elephant's going to help. Here we go. Yep, three apples. And the teddy bear wants to help too. Yep, there's another one. Four, five. I think Winnie the Pooh wants to help too. Yep, six. Oh, I'm going to do this one. Seven. And this elephant's going to help. Eight. Nine. That's a very heavy apple there, elephant. Well done. Ten. Eleven apples. Wow, that was lots of apples. Right, I'm going to go and put those somewhere safe, ready to eat. Oh, well, now I need to dig up my potatoes. Now, I haven't got real potatoes on my sofa because that would be a bit messy. So I'm going to pretend that these are potatoes and I'm going to practice digging them up. So I'm going to dig my fork in, dig up the soil and pick a potato. Oh, and there's another one. And there's another one. Right, I'll put them somewhere safe. Right, Winnie the Pooh, are you going to dig up some potatoes too? Are you ready? Dig them up, dig them up. Oh, there's one. It's a very muddy one. And another one. And another one. Right, I think my huggly bear's going to have to dig up some potatoes as well. Dig them up. One, two, three. Oh, you found a lot, huggly bear. Well done. Right, I think it's my turn again. I'm going to get my ball. Dig, dig. Oh, there's a few here. And I think it's going to have last time. All right, dig them up. Oh, you could use your trunk to pick them up, couldn't you? Well done. Very good. All right. So we've harvested lots of food. So we've got food to eat over the winter. That's really good. Now, today in our story, um, one of the main people in the story, her name is Ruth and she did some harvesting too. So Huggly Bear is going to pretend that she's Ruth. Okay. And this is a story about Ruth. But it's not just about Ruth, it's about Ruth's mother-in-law called Naomi. And so Alma is going to pretend to be Naomi. Now, long, long time ago, Naomi and her husband went to live in a different country. And Naomi and her husband had two babies, and they were both boys. And they grew up, and they were all very happy living there. And Naomi's two boys got married. And one of the boys married Ruth, and the other boy married a girl called Orpah. And everyone thought it was great, and they were going to be happy ever after. But then some sad and bad things happened. Naomi's husband died. And then Ruth's husband died, and Orpah's husband died. They were all really sad. Naomi was so sad and fed up, she decided it would be better to go back to the country that she used to live in long, long ago, when there were still people that she knew. And she, so she said to the girls, I'm sorry, it's time for me to go back to my own country and see if I can find any friends or relatives that still know me. Now, Orpah was sad and she said goodbye and gave, Ruth a, gave Naomi a hug and then she went off. And Ruth was really sad and she said, Naomi, I love you, I want to stay with you, please let me go with you. So off they went to Naomi's country. They went a long way and they came to the town that Naomi used to live in when she was a little girl. But they didn't have any money and they didn't have any food to eat. Now, 
it was harvest time and what people used to do is they used to, if they didn't have any fields of their own, they used to be allowed to go and pick the leftover bits of food from the fields. So there was a man called Boaz, probably he's going to pretend to be Boaz, and he had lots of fields. And so Naomi said, hey, we go to Boaz's fields and see if you can pick up some food there. So off she went and she worked really hard every day, picking lots and lots of food and harvesting so that she and Naomi had some food to eat. Boaz saw this and he thought, that girl is working so hard to look after Naomi and she's a really good girl. And anyway, Ruth kept on picking food and Boaz made sure that there was lots of food left over so that so that Ruth and Naomi would have enough to eat all through the winter. And then Boaz decided that actually he was going to marry Ruth. And they got married and they had a baby and then they were all really happy. They had enough to eat and Naomi was so happy to have a grandson. And she gave him lots of cuddles and hugs. And Ruth was really happy because she had a husband who loved her and they were, and she had a, a little baby and they were really happy. God had used Boaz to help Naomi and Ruth. Now, I wonder what's happened to our secret sign. Has anyone seen it? Is it, I can't see it on the sofa where we were harvesting. Not there, is it? Is it behind this cushion, Froggy? Can you have a look? No. Is it behind me? Oh, I can see it. It's next to Winnie the Pooh. Let's have a look and see what it says. It says, God helps us. Let me show you how we're going to do it. So, God helps us. Let's tell the giraffe. So, stretch your neck up really tall. Are you ready? God helps us. And let's tell the zebras. So zebras are a bit like horses, and horses say nay, but we've got to do a striking nay. Are you ready? Nay! God helps us. And I think we should tell the bears. Oh, are you ready? You can hear a growly voice. I'll make some bear ears here. Growl, growl. God helps us. And I think we should tell the elephants. Can you make yourself have a nice long elephant drunk? Ah! Oh, Elmer's very happy. He's going to do the elephant drunk as well. Ah! You ready? God helps us. And last of all, I think we need to tell our friends the ants. Can you see them in between the cracks? Oh, there's one there. Ready? Quiet voice. God helps us. Brilliant. Right. It's nearly time for me to say goodbye, but if you want to do some Strong Towers crafts, you can ask your family to have a look on our sheet for some good craft ideas. And I will just pray quickly and then we'll say goodbye. Um, thank you, God, that you are with us and that you love us and that you help us. And sometimes you can help us by using other people to help us and sometimes you help us in different ways too. So thank you that you're there and you help us. Ready? Amen. Right. Bye bye, Strong Towers. See you next week.